Well, I'm halfway up the hill, so not quite as impressive as the view that Brent is enjoying from this studio. But look at that. The contrast of those dark storm clouds, the green and yellow grasses, the dotted trees, an impala running in the foreground. Absolutely magical. And aren't we all so fortunate to be able to explore the magic of the Mara? I'm certainly loving every minute of it. And it wouldn't be the same without you guys with us, so thanks so much for joining us on these live safaris. I think we are going to be sending you back to Jamie. So I'm going to say goodbye for today. Thanks very much. It's been great, and I look forward to our next adventure. Also, thanks, Senzo, and well done to Rebecca in the final control. All right, well, I think that very soon we're going to be emula emulating Scott's approach and racing for the hills. The weather gets closer and closer every time I look up. And whilst we are relatively waterproof, we're not entirely lightning-proof. And I don't particularly intend to find out whether or not it, we would survive. Never mind, you get the idea. So we will be racing off relatively shortly, but I just wanted to give you one last view of the lions. However, James's, James's message from Final Control, presumably, is that we should hustle. I agree. I agree completely, James. That, um, that, that I don't really need much more motivation than that. I'm just going to send you the last, or give you one last view of the lion cubs, since they are, sorry, Dave. You got an idea of the weather. There's lion cubs. Say goodbye to the Angamas for now. We'll see them tomorrow, probably, most likely. Right. Let's go, Dave. Before the weather catches us. Luckily, we've got rain covers that prefer to be down than up. Spent the entire drive trying to ambush Dave. I sometimes wonder if they haven't got a life of their own, because they seem to be trying to wrap themselves around Dave's neck at any one moment. Was it a little shop of horrors, that plant? Must have been. Oh, hold on. Time to hustle up the hill. I'm hoping that we don't get drenched too. That is very much, look, we do have, we have covers that flap down, essentially making us one very large, very mobile tent and a cause for much amusement on this reserve. The couple of times that we've driven around with our, all of our flaps closed. I can't, I can't see a windscreen wiper in Quito either, which would make things even more interesting. Let's get out of here. is full of advice this afternoon he tells me that the windscreen wiper is behind the seat on Quito let's go to see if he has any more words of wisdom